Thank you. Wish you were here under different circumstances, but uh, you really took a hit, and New Jersey took a hit. Uh, parts of my state as well, but New Jersey, New York in particular. And uh, I want to begin by uh, uh, thanking uh, Senator Booker for all the work he's doing in the Senate trying to get this infrastructure and other uh, uh, the things we have to do to not just build back, but build back better than it was before. And I want to thank uh, Representative Watson. And, uh, and now, am I, am I in your district or am I in? I'm in Tommy's district. In the moment, okay, we're right in the line. Yeah, I, I think that's true. And uh, you also have one of the best state police forces in the nation. I'm a big statey guy, and so is the Delaware. But thank you very much for all you do. Oh, uh, look, um, uh, to the local officials, uh, the mayors and, uh, and, and the county commissioner, um, you really uh, get hit first. They come to you first. They want to know what's going on, what you can do to help them. And in some cases, uh, even with search and rescue, you have uh, some of the least reach in terms of the availability of resources. And uh, the one thing I will say, and I really want to thank uh, uh, my FEMA director, she's done one thing that, and uh, we had a great FEMA director in the past as well, um, that makes it work. When you get local, state, and federal working together, it is more than three times. It's, a, it's like 10 times what it would be if just having one movie. And uh, the losses uh, that we witnessed today are profound. Dozens of lost lives, homes destroyed in, in Manville, including by gas leaks triggered by the flooding, um, damaged infrastructure, including the rail system. And my thoughts are with all those families affected by the storms and all those families who lost someone they loved. I understand there's still two, is it two people missing or? Four. Four people still missing. And I especially want to thank, uh, and it's an overused phrase, but the brave first responders. I, uh, you know, we have, uh, have uh, exemplified the courage uh, both in New Jersey and next door in New York. They've done an incredible job. And we're working closely with Governor Murphy, and we're going to continue to do so. I'm here to see firsthand what the damage is and find out directly from you all what, what is uh, most needed. Now, look, FEMA uh, has been, I hope, as responsive as we've intended them to be, and I'm sure they have. 132 personnel from FEMA so far, including uh, federal search and rescue teams, including 60 individuals, uh, incident management assistant teams, and 20 people to support uh, these uh, uh, response uh, operations, and mobile emergency response support teams, six of them, uh, to provide uh, communication and logistics support. And on Sunday, when, uh, I, when the governor, we spoke to the governor, and he asked for the uh, major disaster declaration, we made it available immediately so, uh, so that we could uh, speed federal assistance as quickly as we could to hard-hit communities. FEMA administrator was on the ground here in New Jersey yesterday, I believe, to assess the damage. She's visited two communities, Mullica Hills and uh, uh, Winona, hit by the tornado, as, and uh, was on the ground just, uh, what, for over 13 miles that was on the ground, that tornado, those tornadoes. HHS secretaries work with the state to make sure folks uh, on Medicare, Medicaid, get the emergency care they need now. And we're going to make sure the relief is equitable so that those hardest hit get what they need. And, they, uh, and we know there's a lot more to do, and that's why we're here. For decades, uh, scientists have warned of extreme weather uh, would be more extreme, and climate change was here, and we're living through it now. We don't have any more time. I hope no one uh, — I've been on the telephone or on the road uh, an awful lot uh, between uh, California, Idaho, uh, New Orleans, uh, excuse me, not New Orleans, Louisiana, but in New Orleans, Mississippi, 
and, uh, you know, here. I mean, every part of the country, every part of the country is getting hit by extreme weather. And uh, we're now living in real time what the country is going to look like. And if we don't do something, we can't turn it back very much, but we can prevent it from getting worse. And uh, so uh, we're all in this together, and we've got to uh, we've got to make sure that we don't leave any community behind. And it's all across the country. You know, the members of Congress know from their colleagues in Congress that uh, you know the looks like a tornado. They don't call them that anymore. That hit the crops and and wetlands in the middle of the country and in Iowa and Nevada and I mean it's just across the board. And, uh, you know, um, uh, as I said, we're in this together. And uh, so one of the things that today I'm going to ask you about when we get into this, some question and answers here, is about um, uh, how we're going to build back. And we're going to build back realizing what the status of the climate is now, what the trajectory of it is going to be. And we can no longer, we all know, we can't just build back to what, what it was before. Whatever damage done in New Jersey, you can't build back and restore what it was before. Because another tornado, another uh, 10 inches of rain is going to produce the same kind of results. So I want to talk a little bit about the specifics about the things you think you would need, not just to get back to normal, but to get back to a place where if it happened again, the damage would be considerably less. That's what this is all about, in my view. This is an opportunity. I think the country's finally acknowledged the fact that global warming is real and it's moving at an incredible pace. And we've got to do something about it. I'm going to be going from here to what the COP29 in Glasgow for the world meeting together and how we're going to deal with climate change. And it is, it's, I think we're at one of those inflection points where we either act or we're going to be we're going to be in real, real trouble. Our kids are going to be in real trouble. So I want to thank you, and I yield back to you, Gov. Thank you, Mr. President. Amen to all. And again, we can't thank you enough for being here, for all your support. Another person who we're going to hear from next has been there for us, and Deanne Criswell.